Hi, I'm Colin Klupik, and welcome to this video series where we talk to Dr. Martha Burns about the latest from the field of neuroscience and what it has to say about learning. In this first video, we wanted to get to know just a little bit more about Dr. Martha Burns, the person. So we let the cameras roll, and this is what happened. Well, I was very interested in individuals who had had strokes and brain injuries. And I think from the time I was a young girl, I saw a young child who had cerebral palsy who was walking awkwardly, and, um, and I just had tremendous compassion for that little girl. And I think when I got into to the university and I began studying all sorts of aspects of language and speech, my biggest concern was people who had speech problems because of strokes or brain injuries. So that's what got me interested in the brain, and, and particularly in how you can change the brain, how you can take a brain, a uh, person who's having a lot of trouble, and, um, and give them speech back, and give them the ability to use their brain appropriately. And now, in the United States, you may know that we have a woman, um, Giffords is her name, who was shot had a bullet wound and everyone in the head because of a, a young man who was insane but everyone is very anxiously awaiting to see how she's going to recover and they talk about she'll have to relearn talking and actually when you get into the brain the brain is pretty good at recovering it's a remarkable organ so the more you learn about it the more you want to learn about it it's well there's it's so a, much we still don't complex. understand about the brain we don't know we don't know why the brain ages, for example, and what you, can be, what, what you can do about it in concrete ways. We have some pretty good ideas. We don't understand um, some of the aspects of neurological illness, like Alzheimer's disease. What's, we, we have a feeling for what's causing that. It's an accumulation of proteins, it looks like. But we don't know why that causes the problems it does. We don't know what the initial signs of that are. We don't know how to prevent that. Um, and then we're still learning about how to maximize your brain capacity and my brain capacity. How to, the human brain has this remarkable capacity to learn new things throughout the lifetime. So how can we harness that and enable everyone to reach their potential? And that's where neuroscience is really going. I would like, I think the most important thing for me would be to solve the the issue of learning disabilities so that we would never have children who struggle to learn. It would be marvelous if we could figure out how to enable the brain from a very young age um, to be good at learning so that you don't have students who are demoralized or frustrated or discouraged when they get in school. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do switch off, but uh, I do love this. I love neuroscience. And it's so exciting right now because so much is, is happening. Well, you do other things. You distract yourself. Probably you do the same thing. So I play golf. That's one of my, my big releases is I can go home and get on a golf course and think about absolutely nothing about but the horrible way I just hit the last ball. So <laughs> for a couple of hours that gets me thinking, doing something else. I think we're we're very close. We had a huge quantum leap when we, when the neuroscience was able to see the brain at work, visualize the brain at work with, with um, neuroimaging techniques. And there are several neuroimaging techniques that allow us to do that now. Um, and I think what that enabled us to do was, was get a holistic view of the brain. Our next adventure, really, and our next goal is to figure out how how areas of the brain connect with each other and communicate with each other. And some people talk about it as what is the code? How, what is the code that the brain uses to be able to take something as complex as this conversation and turn it into a little binary code that neurons either fire or they don't fire and somehow that enables this remarkable capacity to think and learn and solve problems you've never seen before and and talk about subjects you've never talked to before. It's just amazing.